Hello there, Quicksilver Slash coming at you with another Action 10 replay, hoping to improve on yesterday's result and get a win in this one. Playing on the Kharkov map, and I can't get enough of these HD models. They, they get me every time, and I'm glad Wargaming just keeps adding more and more. Today I'm playing with my platoon mate, Flying Goomba, who once again is in his M103, so we're both hoping for a better result than that previous game I shared with you. Now that the game's underway, I'm heading to a pretty standard place I like to go to in medium tanks. It's not the best for an action 10, because you don't really get to put its excellent gun depression to use, but I'm pretty confident. I know where people can come at me from over here, so I'm comfortable doing this. And this is what I do on a lot of maps, and maybe not in the best place for my particular tank, but for me it's the best because I know where things can shoot me, I know the avenues a little better, and some of it's just I need to put more games in to really fully understand every map. So right away we spot a T-54, I see he's advancing, I pull back so that he's the only thing that's going to be able to shoot at me. I get a nice shot in right off the bat, still waiting for my platoon mate to get up, I track him hoping that Goomba can finish him off. Fortunately, the gun goes straight into the ground, so at this point I tell him, you know what, I'm going to flank, you pressure him, and this way we're pretty much sure a tier 9 tank isn't getting away early game on low hit points to still put that gun to use. I get cheeky, I use auto aim, an unfortunate bounce, though he bounces off me. I'm not entirely sure where he hit me, but the Centurion can be a little trolly in that way. So right now we can see a Batchat 25 and a 1357F up near our cap. They just triggered our cap for a split second going through it. And I keep that in my mind, but with this VK-45 showing us his rear end, you just you can't turn that down. The tank is near impenetrable from the front, but from the sides and rear, he's quick work. And you'll notice with that shot, I took the time to aim for his sprocket, just in case I didn't get through. I wanted him tracked so that Goomba could finish him off. So I then see this T-71, he's on a single shot for me, so I push forward. This is where I tunnel vision the first time this map, because there's a big old IS-7 right behind me that puts a shot in, but I get the kill, get that auto-loading American Scout tank off the map. Next target on my hit list is this T-110E5 who's in a, a brawl with ours. Just hoping to get there, put some damage in, and I end up kind of stealing the kill from our T-1105. But I'm hoping he doesn't mind because it meant he wasn't taking another hit. So here's that 1357 earlier. I put the shot in, go for the ram, I miss him, and he gets a chance to unload on me with that auto loader, which still puts a lot of damage in, particularly into the thin armor of the Action 10. I fire a shot, the Batch at 25, light a fire, he puts it out. This will come important later. Bit of a donk by me there, driving into the edge of the building. And I can see on the map that there's an unspotted 25 somewhere behind me, and he just gets spotted. I had been going to low ground. He managed to put two rounds into me before I get out, and he tracks me so I can't hit the one I was chasing. I pull out, and I get another fire. And that one is going to burn. So now it's me and this T-125 versus the Bat Chat. We make quick work of him. And then I'm looking for the shot, and there we go, another kill shot. So that's both Bat Chats, two massively dangerous tier 10 tanks out of the way. Even on low hit points, just that single magazine potential to just erase a tank off the map is huge. And unfortunately, this is where my game slows down. I'm on one hit for anything on this map. There's a 4202 at the end of the alley. So I'm playing a little cautious, trying to use some cover to peek, because I don't want to die. We have a good lead, but I've seen leads this big disappear, and I'm sure any of you who watch replays regularly have seen 1v9s happen. So I don't want to just pull out and try to rush this guy down and give him a chance. So I'm trying to keep to the side of the alley, keep that um, pile of rubble between me and him so that he doesn't have an easy shot at me. Luckily he focused on our light tank. I get one last shot in, and that's the end of the match. 
So now we go to post game. This was a pretty good game for me. 68,000 credits, 3,917 experience, and a first class mastery. This was my win of the day. And looking at my kills, I killed the T-71, a pair of bat shot, 25 tons, the VK-4502B, and a T-1105. All very dangerous targets. I was happy to erase from this game. And the team score, 4,741 damage, 5 kills, 1,135 base experience. This was a very solid game for me, and I was happy to top the team and come away with the win. And moving into the detailed report, I fired 14 shots, 13 hit, only one of those didn't penetrate. That just, just shows the reliability of that gun on the Action 10. And it, it carries across the British line. Those The shells just penetrate. They may not be the quickest rate of fire or the highest alpha damage, but they are reliable, they hit, and they will go through. Even with a premium count, made 68,000 base after ammunition and everything, I only walked away with 28,000 credits. So once again, tier 10s are expensive to run. They're not somewhere to play if you want to make money. Anyways, thank you for joining me for another replay. I plan to come at you with another one tomorrow. Have a good day, everyone.